Hey guys, it's Kara. I have an exciting package that just came in the mail yesterday from David Austin Roses. I'm excited to show you guys what's in the box and which roses I am adding to the garden today. These roses are actually a Christmas present from Ryan. Ryan let me pick out two different roses uh, for my Christmas present this year and they just arrived yesterday. We got the David Austin Rose catalog and of course I had been drooling over all the different varieties in here. It was really hard to narrow it down to just two. There are so many pretty roses to choose from in here. I love the pictures at the very end where they show you all the different color options uh, all together kind of categorized by color. I just think that's so fun. One day I would love to have every single one of these roses, but we're just gonna add to the garden slowly as we go a little bit at a time. Last year was the first year I had planted roses and I became a little bit rose obsessed, which I think is probably pretty easy to do. I just loved how the roses smelled and having them as cut roses in the house. It uh, just makes me happy. The roses that I ordered, came in bare root form, which basically means that there's no soil around the roots and they're in the dormant state. Although these are starting to leaf out just a little bit. I've had these soaking in some water for a few hours. I've noticed that ordering them um, bare root seems to be a little bit cheaper, which makes sense. I mean, they, I guess they don't have to pay for the pot or for the soil and it's also probably a little bit cheaper for them to ship them as well. So without further ado, let me show you which two roses I purchased. So the first one is Munstead wood or Munstead wood. Now from this tag, there's no picture on it. So let me show you what it looks like in the book before I show you the other one. I'm a very visual person. I like seeing what they look like. So Munstead wood or Munstead, I'm not sure which way you pronounce it. I've been saying Munstead, so that's just probably what I'm gonna go with. It says it is a three foot by three and a half foot medium shrub rose. Color is deep velvet crimson, repeat flowers, and has a strong old rose fruity fragrance. Medium bloom sizes, hardy for zone five through 11. It bears very deep velvety crimson blooms with lighter color outer petals. They are deeply cupped at first, becoming shallowly cupped with time. There is a strong old rose fragrance with fruity notes. I'll show you up close to that one. It's a very deep, I would say almost burgundy colored rose. I think it looks really pretty. And I tried to pick roses that all said they had a really strong fragrance because I just love the way that roses smell. The other rose that we have in this box, which this one looks quite a bit bigger than the other one. And it actually has quite a few shoots coming off of it already. This one is the Lady of Shallot or Shallot, but I think Shallot sounds prettier. This one I think is beautiful looking. It has kind of like an orange apricot-y color. It is a large English shrub rose getting five foot tall by four foot wide. The color is orange, repeat flowering, and fragrance is a medium tea fragrance with large bloom sizes, hardy through zone four through 11, and we're in zone seven here. Rich orange red buds open to chalet shaped blooms filled with loosely arranged orange petals. The surrounding outer petals are salmon pink, with beautifully contrasting golden yellow undersides. It says it's good for mixed borders, attracting bees, shady areas, and rose, he rose hedges. <laughs> I just think that is so pretty. I love any rose that seems like it has a lot of petals and it's kind of cupped. Those are my favorite. So those are the two roses we got. Let me show you where I'm gonna be planting them. Over here on the west side of the house is where I currently have all of my other roses for the most part. This is what I've just been calling like my rose bed. We have several roses here and some black plastic where I hope to plant a few more roses in the future. But in the meantime, I have an empty gap between this last rose and the climbing rose over there on the fence where I wanna plant one of these. And then we're gonna plant the other one in a different location. I have another rose here that I transplanted from my mom's house, but I don't think 
it's coming back. I'm gonna leave this one still in the ground for a little bit. And if it never comes back, then I will replace this rose with a different one as well. But we're just gonna put one of these in the box here for right now. I think the one I'm gonna plant in front of this Eden rose is the Munstead Wood. The Eden rose is what is on this retaining wall fence and it'll have pink blooms. So I think it'll look nice with the burgundy blooms in front of it. I never actually saw this rose. Hi. Pepper's been curling around my feet, meowing at me for some attention. So I'll hold her while we talk for a second. The Eden Rose is also by David Austin and it has pink blooms on it. Last year is my first year with the Eden Rose in the ground and I never saw it bloom, but I see buds on it right now. So I'm excited to see it bloom for the first time and smell it uh, this coming spring. See the new buds coming on. I'm gonna say hi to everybody, Pepper. Pepper is my cuddle bug. Her sister Daisy is meowing in the distance on the other side of this wall here, uh, but she does not really like to be cuddled and petted like Pepper does. So anyway, let's get this rose in the ground. I'm just adding a little bit of biotone root starter to the hole to give things a little bit of a boost. I'm gonna put the other David Austin rose the Lady of Shalott over in this new kitchen bed uh, right here off of this rain gutter. If you have a favorite rose variety that smells really good and looks really pretty, let me know in the comments what it is. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye y'all.